Okay, so now we're going to create some additional architecture. We're going to make a chimney. So I've got my pin tool. I'm going to go to the edge here. And I'm going to click and go straight up. So I know I'm going straight up because it's on the blue axis. Then I'm going to come over and I know that I'm on the green axis. And I'm going to click and go straight down. I know I'm going straight down because I'm on the blue axis. And I could rotate and make sure that that's correct. If I'm not, <clears throat> just undo it. So you always want to be drawing along one or more axes. And then later on, I'll show you how you can uh, constrict the uh, with keyboard which axes you're drawing on. But right now, we're just going to do it by using inference, right? If I want to draw something uh, from the floor um, up, I rotate, so I'm looking down. Excuse me, if I want to draw something from the side, I rotate or use the left view or right view. Now I'm going to grab my push-pull tool, and I'm going to push-pull this back like so, and then push-pull it forward like so, and I want this to be a rectangle, a cube, something like that. It looks good. Now I'm going to heal that surface by clicking here and clicking here, and I'm going to zoom in on that. Now when I zoom in, if I have, I use my, um, my, uh, my scroll button, and I put it over the object, it scrolls, scrolls into that object. I'm going to select that surface. I'm going to grab my offset tool, and I'm just going to click and offset that about like so. Then I'll select that face, grab my push-pull tool, and push-pull it down. Don't have to push it all the way down. It just has to look like it's uh, push-pull. Now let's do the, uh, the interior of the roof here. So I'm going to grab my pen tool, and I'm going to click about right here. And what I want to do is find where I'm parallel to this, so I'll bring this to on edge and then come down. It's going to snap parallel to edge. And then I'll come up and I will find the endpoint, midpoint there and click. All right, so let's do that on the other side. I'll find that on edge. That'll give me the, uh, the exact parallel from the, the inference from that point. Then I just come down and click again. And that found that for me. Then I'll grab my push pull tool. I'll just grab that and push, pull it back, grab my eraser tool and erase that extra line. And we can do that on the other side, come on over like this, same kind of operation here. All right, I'm gonna grab my pencil tool. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna find that edge. It's gonna find a parallel for me. Then I'm gonna come up and find my endpoint. That's gonna give me the midpoint from there. Then I'll come over, find my midpoint, that'll snap to the parallel from the edge. And then I, I click here. So I don't click until I find that. Then I push that, push pull that material in. I can select that face, grab my push pull tool, and then just push that in until it's even with that, right? And now I'll peel that surface by removing that. Oops. Uh oh, let's just leave it there. Uh, let's see here. Did I get close enough? Maybe not. Let's push pull it in a little bit more. Maybe we can get closer. Let's see if we can get it to snap. There we go. Let's see if we can erase that now. There we go. So that was just been sloppy. All right. So there's our house. That's a medium complexity house. And you see we've, we've got a base. We've got an overhanging roof. We've got a chimney. We've got some doors. We've got a window. You could add more Windows, you could add more doors. Um, you could make some steps. Um, you could paint the thing. Um, and so you can keep going with this, but that's our medium complexity house using uh, all the tools that we've learned so far, uh, our, our inferencing, the pencil tool, um, the uh, offset and push-pull, and follow me.